Al Bernstein for the Boxing Channel here with a gentleman that's going to be a treat to interview. I've done it before, and he's always entertaining, and he's a great commentator in Britain, James Watt, who, of course, was a former lightweight champion and is a longtime uh, British broadcaster. And you're over here for Sky TV to do the uh, Khan Garcia fight. Um, of course, Amir Khan uh, trying to win a WBC title from Danny Garcia. And it, it's an interesting situation for Khan because even though he's coming off a loss, that loss was, loss was expunged because of the, the drug test. Does it matter? Well, I mean, it always matters. Uh, uh, Amir has had to come back from a loss before, but it was a devastating yeah. loss to De Bredis Prescott. He was knocked out in the first round, so this is entirely different. I think he's a good excuse for losing uh, to, to Lamont Peterson. But when this match was first made, I wondered, has young uh, Danny Garcia been railroaded into this match? Mm -hmm. Because I thought, just a new champion, you usually want to let a, a new champion you know, grow into the role of being a champion without not too risky first mm -hmm. defence. But with the Peterson can fight collapsing, Golden Boy had to replace it with something, you know, mouth watering, which yeah. they have done. So I wondered if young Danny maybe has been railroaded in here, and I wonder does he fancy the job? Does he think he can win it? But he uh, arrived over here on Tuesday, and seeing Danny, you know, at the, his public workout mm -hmm. at the press conference and at the weigh-in this afternoon, I've been really impressed with the body language and the attitude that he's shown. He really looks as though he sees, although he's the champion, he accepts the fact that he's underdog. Mm -hmm. But I think he sees this as a great opportunity to underline the fact that he's one of the top boys in the 110 division, the sort of the 140 division, and I think he's looking forward to the fight. Yeah, you make a very good point, Jim, that you know, normally you're not going to be thrown into this kind of fight right after you win a world title. But he has fought tough competition. He fought Ashley Theophane, a very good fighter from, from Britain. The last fight was against Morales, who's older but still yeah. fighting well. Arno Otis, uh, a, a decent... It's not as if he's been facing uh, fighters that can't fight, but... Uh, a Khan clearly presents for him an issue of a, a superior boxer, a guy with presumably better skills. But we always wonder with Amir Khan, will the boxer show up? Yeah, well, I, I mean, Amir spent a lot of his career with question marks over his chin. Mm -hmm. and, and it must have been horrendous for a young fighter, you know, producing the form he was producing, but all they wanted to talk about after the fight was, can he take a punch? <laughs> right. So he's gone through a little phase where he wants to show people he can take a punch. So he does silly things. He did against Marcus Maidana. In one of the rounds he was lucky to survive, but he showed a lot of heart, and he showed he has got a good mm -hmm. chin. So I think that's still at the back of Amir's mind at times. I think he likes to turn a little match a bit on just to prove to people, look, mm -hmm. I can take a shot. Yeah. And give me one so I can prove it. So he does do silly things at fight. He loses his concentration. And Garcia is a very disciplined fighter. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen him as a special fighter as yet. I thought he was very good against Morales, but I didn't see it as wide as the judges saw it. I thought in the first half of the fight, Morales was taking him to school a little mm -hmm. bit. His tactics were wrong. He was counter-punching with single punches. So I think he still has a lot to learn. But... Uh, I mean, Golden Boy have shown tremendous confidence mm -hmm. in him making this match. So, I mean, I, I still see it, you know, I've stuck with the first impressions usually last with me. <laughs> and I still see it as a tough call, you know, a, a tough mm -hmm. fight for Danny. But the, the closer it gets, the bigger chance I'm getting of winning. But yeah. I still think Amir is going to win in points. Yeah, and certainly it's a fight in which Garcia has an opportunity to win. Uh, Amir Khan in England is an interesting figure because he has many fans. But how, where do you place him in terms of his popularity there and how the British public has perceives him? It's changed a little bit over the course of time. Yeah, but, but, but when Amir uh, turned pro... Uh, well, a silver medal at the uh, Olympic Games. You know, he turned pro under you know, you know, bright lights, yep. and people loved him. And, and and but I think, as he's, it was very easily matched in the mm. early part of his career. And uh, he was boxing at lightweight. Then they moved him up to light welterweight because they saw an easier way in mm -hmm. to, to, to the you know right. a world championship. So he probably at that time maybe a few people started asking questions: Why is he still so carefully handled? But that is not the case any longer. And so he's proven himself, as I said Got already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he has the full respect of the British public. He is a yeah. fighter, and. I'll be honest, when I'm your turn pro, I didn't see him as a man who would be in terrific, you know, fight of the mm -hmm. year fights. Yeah. But the Maidana fight, I'm sorry I keep mentioning that one, no, but that, that was tremendous. <laughs> and if you look through some of his performances, fighters that he didn't get a lot of credit for beating on the night, like Kotelnik, like uh, Polly Malinaji, yeah. and Zab Judah as well, right. who have gone on after Khan has mm -hmm. beaten them. 
to some tremendous performance. Yeah, Polly Malinaji is now world mm -hmm. welterweight champion. Sure. Now, now, Amir didn't get a lot of credit for that win, if you think back then, the same as Koternik, who also uh, has proven to be a terrific fighter. So I think that the real boxing fans now are coming to realise, yes, he's the real deal, he's good value for money, and he wants to excite, and that's what he does. All right, Jim Watt, who those of you watching in uh, the UK will get a chance to see him on Sky doing this fight. It's always a joy to talk to you, and uh, you are an icon in uh, in British boxing, and you're even nice enough to let me come over now and occasionally announce a boxing match there. Yes, and take all our money back to the States. <laughs> And in the middle of a recession, too. No, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> They're just paying me a lot less than you, so it's okay. Jim Watt, former champion and a great broadcaster.